Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the Rad Color Editor. To begin, let's go to Visual Studio, create a new project. Let's call that new project Rad Color Editor Getting Started. And we'll click the OK button and accept that this is a Civilite 5 application. And that will bring up the wizard, the Telegration wizard, which we will use to include input. When we click finish, we'll see on the right hand side in the Solution Explorer, the references open up and sure enough, there we see Telerik Windows Controls input and dependent on that, Telerik Windows Controls added automatically for us. Let's come over to the XAML and add a rad color editor. We'll set its initial selected color to red and save that and run the application. That's all it takes to create a rad color editor. When the application comes up, you can see that we have a full fledged color editor. We have the drop down, which allows you to pick how you're going to enter the color values using any of the standard formats. We have sliders and you can see that as you slide the slider, the red value changes in the box and also the values in the color editor itself are changing as is the selected color at the bottom of the color editor. You can also grab that little circle as you're used to doing in other color editors. Before we leave the color editor, let's return to the XAML and add an event. Probably the most common event for the color editor is to have the color changed. So we'll set the selected color changed event. And then to display this, we're going to need a second row in our grid. So let's create a couple quick row definitions. The first row definition will hold our color editor, and so we're going to set its height to star. The second row is going to hold a simple text block, and so we'll set its height to auto. And then below the rad color editor, we're going to add a text block. Give that text block a name so that we can address it programmatically. We'll name it message. Set that to be located in grid row 1 and set its foreground color to red to match the initial color that we set the color editor to. And then let's just give it some text. We now need to save that and go to the code behind where we're going to wire up the event handler that we just created, selected color changed. And what we want to do when the color changes is we want to change the foreground color on our message. So the first thing to do is to obtain the selected color, which we get from the event args. Then we'll create a solid color brush of the color that was selected. And note that what is returned by e.color is of type color, so that's very easy to do. And now we can tell our message to set its foreground color to use our new solid color brush, which will be in the selected color. Let's run the application. You can see Hello World is red. If we move down the color bar, Hello World immediately reflects those changes. If we grab the little dot and move, there's no change in Hello World until we let go. And then as soon as we've picked a color, Hello World is updated. And that's true whether we do that through the sliders, picking all the way up to white, all the way back down through yellow to black. You can see that immediate update on that event. I hope you've seen how easy it is to set up and use the Rad Color Editor. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. I look forward to talking with you again very soon.